Hello there guys and girls, welcome to another tutorial video for BeamNG Drive. Hope you're doing well and uh, today we're going to be looking at the new camera path editor tool and how to integrate them with your replays. So I have tested this bit and at the moment replays will not work if you record them in time trials or scenario modes. You have to record them in free roam for them to actually play. I have reported this to the devs so hopefully that will be fixed very soon. So we're going to go into free roam and I think we'll go to the new Utah map, the re revamped and refurbished map which is absolutely brilliant and we're going to use the new hopper, the new crawler hopper which looks absolutely amazing haven't tested this nearly enough yet but uh, yeah we'll use this for an example so a lot of people use the replay UI app I just think it's pointless because you can actually just start and stop recording replays with Alt R so if we press it once, it will start recording. Press it again, it will stop. Always remember, if you are recording, to press stop. Otherwise, it will just infinitely record. You can plan out where you want to go, or you can just drive randomly. I'm going to just drive randomly. So we're going to record a short replay, and then I'll explain how to get the camera to follow exactly the way you would like it. So, I'll press Alt-R. And we are good to go. Obviously we don't want to go on the road because that's boring in a car like this. So I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to do enough to get some kind of replay out of it. Oh, straight through the river. And stop. And that will be it for our example. So I press Alt R again and as you can see there, replay is saved. So from there, you just quit out into the main menu of the game. And then you can click replays, and you'll find at the bottom of the list the most recently recorded replay. So we'll click play. If you haven't used replays before, it's a great way to watch back what you did from any camera view. Okay, so straight away the replay is playing. And we can do our, what we like with the camera and watch how it went. Uh, you can use the UI app to change the position of the replay and wind it forwards and backwards. We don't need to do that because uh, of the tool we'll be using. It also has those features. Just watch through once as it is quite short. And there it is. And then the replay will pause. And once you press pause again, it will start again. So I'll press pause to restart and then pause it. Now, camera path editor will be found in the F10 editor so if you press F10 that will bring that up and in the top middle ish here you'll see camera path editor so we want to click that which brings up this box and we'll click new to make a new path and then you want to click this button here link path to current replay this is the magic button that they added they had the camera path editor from the update but this latest hotfix or sorry the hotfix before the second one for this update added this functionality where it links the replay directly to this camera path tool. So if you see here, we can actually move the position of the replay with this timeline bar. So, how do we add cameras? Let's get our camera in a position where we like it to start. So we'll start like this and we'll click add marker. And you see that bring up this list. And for each camera that you've added you can add you can edit the attributes like the uh, field of view or um, other such things so once we've placed our first camera we can move the timeline on slightly and then move the camera again and add marker and then move it on more and basically that's all you need to do move the timeline add a camera until the replay is completed so if you want to get some cool shots, try and make your camera movements smooth, as in don't go left, right at each increment of the replay, otherwise your camera will just be flying left and right. I did that on my preview when I first tried out this method. You might have seen my preview video in the Grand Marshal on Utah. It was, wasn't too bad, it came out okay, but the camera was darting around a lot. So try and remember where you had it last and try and keep it sort of roughly in the same position. So. If we add a marker there, no, let's add one there. You can see when you've added a marker because there'll be a, like a, a liney TV kind of shape thing. It's a bit messy where it leaves the path behind, but this means you can actually change the path. Very handy to know. So uh, we've added that marker, so let's move on again. 
I'm going to keep on this side, this side of the vehicle to start with. As I say, you want to try and make the camera smooth rather than going left, right, left, right every 20 yards. It looks a bit crazy. So we're going to go there and spin on. So as the replay plays, the camera movement will be dead smooth and basically stay with the car as we're doing it like this. And remember that the screen you're looking at here in the editor is meant to be the whole screen. So anything that, where all this is, you have to take into account because otherwise you'll think you're just using this size screen when it's actually a full screen there, if that makes any sense. And you have to be careful that your camera path won't go through the floor because that won't look nice at all. So I add one there, almost at the end. Obviously, if you do have a quite a long replay, this could take quite a while, but it does give you the ability to have lots of control over how it looks. And as you experiment and do this over and over, you will get better at knowing where to place your cameras to make the uh, paths look just epic. So yeah, I'm happy there. That will do for our demonstration. And then we'll click Save. And I'm gonna overwrite this one, Utah 2. Just choose any name that you would like. And from there, get your recording software ready and click Play and Close Editor and press Alt U to hide your UI. And then we can see the magic happening. Yes, it happens a lot faster than you think when you're actually in the editor, but as you can see, you can get some pretty cool shots. Well, that looked great coming out of the water then. And it'll stop. Bingo. And that's it. As long as you've got uh, the replay playable and the editor open, it's a breeze. So I hope that can help you guys with your replays and your awesome action videos for YouTube because there's no shortage of those. Just hopefully we can get them looking a bit better with this great new feature. So happy holidays to everyone, any of the devs watching. Thank you very much for an amazing config and update. This is amazing. Thanks guys and gals. See you later.